Hi guys, really warm welcome back to my channel and to another Organize With Me. Today we are doing the kitchen, which is like such a dream space. If you have been following me for a while, you'll know that we moved into this house this year and I just love it so much. And the kitchen is amazing, but what's happened is when you have too many cupboards, you just end up, it's like having a big bag. You have a big bag and you put loads of stuff in it. You don't need all the stuff in it. So we're gonna clear it out, declutter it, organize it. I've got some really good Poundland, B&M, and I think Home Bargain storage. So we're gonna be doing some really nice organizing and getting it sorted out because it's just a little bit higgledy-piggledy. Higgledy piggledy. A small section of the video is sponsored by Ecovacs. If you follow me over on Instagram, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, you will know that I love my little D bot. I use him all the time. He just cracks on, cleans up. And we absolutely love it. But they have asked us to test out the brand new X1 Omni from Ecovacs. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of an unboxing and show you exactly how amazing this new machine is. This thing is just beyond, like it, it cleans for you. They have finally invented a machine that does it all for you. It self cleans, it replaces the water, it changes over the dirty water, it just does everything. So I'll share a little bit more about that later on in the video. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. Grab yourself a cup, it might well be a long one. My decluttering videos always are, because there's a lot to do. I'm gonna show you guys the storage solutions that I've picked up for what we're gonna use. So yeah, let's get into the video. See on the side are markings from yesterday. We did the mince pie taste test challenge. So that is actually up on my channel now if you want to find out what, in our humble opinion, the best mince pies are on the market this year. Uh, but I want to show you these things which are the storage things that I've got. What I'll do as well is link below my Amazon shop, which basically lists all of my Amazon products that I always recommend or that just make my life easier, that I love. And I'll recommend some on there that are similar to these. So yeah, check out the link in the description for that. But let me show you what I've got. So this is a mini version of like a Lazy Susan, but it's a small one because I didn't want too big a one to go into the cupboard. Although to be fair, these cupboards would fit them, but uh, I just got a small one to test it out. So I'm gonna try that one. I've also got these tr um, storage shelves. So basically you can pull out the legs and then you'll be able to sort of put things underneath that as well. So I've got two of those. That picture is it of on, on the side, but I'm gonna put it in the cupboard so I can just basically extend my cupboard space. And I've got this, which you might have seen from my bathroom declutter and organize with me video. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it. I've got tons of organize with me videos and declutter and everything like that. So this one I used in my bathroom and I really, really love it. So I'm gonna use this in the kitchen as well. And then these were left over from the bathroom declutter that I didn't use. As you can see, they are special buys. Um, home savers, I don't know where that is. Probably B&M. And then this one, I don't know where that one's from either. But as I said, I'll link my Amazon shop with all my recommended products on there. So yeah, this gives you a kind of idea of the products that we're gonna use. Now let me show you what I'm dealing with in the cupboards. So I have done this before and I got this little unit there which we still love, but I just feel like there's absolutely no use being used there. Like I could definitely maximize what I'm using there. Um, what else have we got in here? This is not too bad, but it could just do with a bit of a sort out, I think. And then in here, I have a baking cupboard, which is a dream come true, because I never had space for this before. Uh, my teas are just all over the place. I haven't done a tea of the day for a while. I think I might go with a pucker vanilla chai actually so i'll get that one brewing um but yeah i just think this could probably do with a bit of a sort out and a maximizing of the space as well so as you can see it's like loads of you see that there's like loads of space not being used i was just about to move these and i thought mm, this is george having toast for breakfast so now it's probably as good as time as any to let you know about ecovax so this is my d -bot, my little baby who i just love and it basically is like more of a sort of entry level D-Bot. Uh, oh, I need to clean, it's empty. Uh, this is what we use all the time, but 
you know, if your budget is not at the place of the Omni One, because obviously it is much more expensive than this one, this is a brilliant sort of starter version. And it's serving us really, really well. So definitely check out those ones. So I'm gonna put the link on the description of all of the products, but yeah, have a look at that one as well. The D-Bot X1 Omni provides a totally hands-free experience with an industry-first all-in-one Omni station. I have never seen anything like this. It's a massive step up from our D-Bot, but if you are looking for something at the higher end of the spectrum, priced around the top spec Dyson, this little guy is immense and it does so much. It has auto clean, which is probably my favorite feature ever, which not only cleans the water in the mop compartment, but also cleans the pads it uses on the floor. After using the internal heating device, rapidly cleans the mopping pads to prevent bacteria and over this thing is insane not only does it clean the mop side of things but it also auto empties the caddy where the debris is collected the main dustbin can hold months of debris if you wish it to the omni x1 comes with everything you need to get started just with a few short setup instructions like connecting to the internet and mapping the floor it's also voice activated so whenever you want it to start cleaning you just say okay you go start cleaning it has a 30 day no question return policy, free shipping over £39, a two year warranty and a price match guarantee as well as super friendly helpful customer service. It also has a really clever feature called obstacle avoidance so it means that you don't have to have everything off the floor for it to be able to start cleaning, it just goes around it, so clever. So it's just told me that the pads are dirty and it's going to go back and clean them literally does this for you. Okay, let's watch him find his way back. Need to give him a name. Going back to wash itself. Genius. As you can see, it's got clean water, dirty water. Just cleaning itself, guys. Oh. Oh. I'm going to show you this dirty water when it comes out. It will be gross. Oh, gross. And then that's the clean. It's hard to use, isn't it, actually? You just put that in, fill it up, and then see ya. It's the, always the way I have to actually clean up before I can start organising. So I'm just going to do the washing up quickly. Just one glass in. You're already on my mind when it gets late. Like a drug, I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby, just hold me tight Like a drug, I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man, you make it feel like paradise God damn, I think I'm gonna lose my mind Oh man, you make it feel like paradise Paradise just trying to ripen these butternut squash so this side's been in the sun this side has not so i'm gonna even it out put it out down here oh. makes like a little doorstep doorstep to be honest with you right the decks are cleared does anyone's parent used to say that let's clear the decks my mum says it all the time so the decks are cleared and it means i can actually see what i'm working with i know what needs to have a home found for it um, let me know if you've got any tips for my sink that just literally the tap, whenever you turn it on and you wash up or something, because it's too, it's almost like not long enough over the sink and water just goes everywhere. So it's very annoying. It happens every single time we wash up or even just like get a drink or anything like that. So I'm constantly drying the side. I think I'm going to use these foldable shelves for inside the mug cupboard, and by the way, it was so pitch black in here a minute ago, before I started filming this, I had to go and get my ring light, and now, this beautiful sunshine. It's beautiful, but it also is a little bit blinding, so hopefully you can see everything all right. So yeah, you see if in here, all of these mugs, 
which when I first did a little kitchen organised with me when we first moved in, I did say this, it's almost like we're not using the shelf to its full potential because it's like we're using like a quarter of it. So we get these out and then it means that we can heighten the cupboard so we have stuff on it and under it. I'm just hoping that that is enough for two mugs, two by two or two by probably four. Just so we can ma Ooh, that's a satisfying sound. So that we can maximize the space. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you out, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. These little ones we don't really use very much. These are egg cups. I'm going to put them at the back so that they're not they're so tiny, <laughs> so that we're not sort of trying to reach through. Because that's what I was just thinking: is it worth putting two there so I can have it like that? But then it's sort of quite a long way to get to the back. So I'm going to see what it looks like with just the one. And yeah, I'm going to fill up this bit. We got that set. So that already is looking so much better. To be honest with you, you could probably put another one in there, like height-wise, but that's given us loads more space there because we are looking for some new mugs. We're still looking, I think I said that last time. We've also got up here, which is more sort of display stuff, so basically the ones that go a bit better together. Um, so we've got that space to store things as well, and then this one as well. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Actually, I could move these down now because George likes to use them but he can't actually reach over here so it's a little bit dangerous for him so I put those there for him now oh, I've got a big space there I might move those balls mm, no hmm yeah happy with that on to the tea cupboard I think what's best is to take all the teas out because it's sort of mixing in with all the baking stuff now so I'm going to take everything out. I might use my little Lazy Susan in this one because it's easier to get to things at the back. But yeah, let's take it all out and then see what storage we want to put into this cupboard. This tea is pretty nice, by the way. I'm giving it mm, 8 out of 10. It's warming. It's a lovely warming smell or taste, I should say. This is a smell. This is uh, from Sainsbury's, I think. Stu got it for me for our anniversary. Midnight Orchid, triple wick candle. Actually, band's quite evenly, eh? sort of. That way, that way's a bit more even. This is the bit that you always regret starting this job. <laughs> Literally like, oh no, why have I done this? But my friends, it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna have some amazing storage in there. It's gonna be super organized, just giving it a nice clean. And now we work on putting all this back. Cool. How is this all out of just one cupboard? <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
I really hope you're enjoying the video guys. If you are, please do give it a like. So it helps other people find it and it helps me know that you like this kind of video. And also if you're new to this channel, then why not subscribe to have more home organization, planning, Christmas planning, we've got loads going on at the moment, as well as lots of money and finance content too. I'd love to have you here as part of this community. Now it's in the cupboard. I kind of wish I'd got a bigger one, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. It obviously spins around, so it's just easier to get stuff if it's at the back. So I may well go and get a bigger version of this or order it from Amazon, but it's fine for now. We can make do. I've got some other bits as well that's gonna go in this cupboard to help organize the tea collection and the baking stuff. These feel like a good size and a good option for the teas because obviously they are all sort of that size. So yeah, let's get going with that one first. I'm gonna take these labels off actually. As you can see, I could have done with another one of these, but I can grab one when I next go. I, in fact, I've just opened the door so you can hear the traffic, but um, in fact, I'm gonna do another video on kitchen organization because I've got all of these cupboards to do as well. And I've got those tall bamboo uh, pots. So I'm gonna use those for things like spaghetti and that sort of a tall container. But yeah, follow along if you wanna see that part two. Uh, but what I've done here, I'm quite happy with. So I've got, all of the bits so you can literally just grab it out when you want to bake all of the toppings and chocolates and things like that and then these are all sort of bicarb and baking powders and um, flavorings and everything and then we've got the cutters in here this one was already in here from a previous kitchen organization uh, but yeah i'm pretty happy with that so i'm going to just find a way of putting it all back in so it is making use of the space and then we've still got that one to use and this needs to go back in as well so yeah let's put it all back together
So the sun is pitching on this cupboard, but hopefully you can see how much better it looks and easier it is to get to things. So I actually changed my mind, as you can see. I figured that the tees were not gonna be, I would have to take the top ones out to get to the bottom ones and it was all sort of falling off. So I've put them here. So now I can literally just grab one like that, take it out and then put it back in. So I'm feeling much better about the tea situation, which as you know, needs to be on point. <laughs> and then we've got back here all the baking stuff. So when George wants to bake, we literally just lift one out and then I was trying to show you the back ones and then he can, yeah, we can crack on. And then behind there, I put in the, what do you call them? The cutters, because we don't use them as much. So if I do need to get to them, I can just pull my tea caddy out, my tea tray, and they're at the back there. Oh, also, that must be, oh no, there, that's what they are, they're up there. So yeah, I don't really use those as much. So we'll see, we'll work with it, see what works, and you know, if it needs to be changed around, I can do that, but for now, I'm happy with it. And then I put my syrups in here as well, because then they can just be grabbed out, and a little bit of tissue in there, because it gets sticky. And yeah, happy with that. These cupboards are pretty well organized already, so I'm not gonna do anything to those. We've bought a couple more sets of wine glasses from Amazon, I can link them for you, because they kept getting broken, and if we have people over for Christmas, I just wanted a full set. And then we've got like the spare ones up there, the bigger ones, some shot glasses. Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. And then other glasses there, you've seen this cupboard. This one is done, loving all of that. There's room for more because I do want to get some new mugs because as much as I love the mismatch of it all, they're just not the vibe. They're not what I like. They're so many years old. I mean, one of them has got a picture of, it's not that one, it's got a picture of Henry on as a baby. And George was like, where am I? It's so old. It's not even got George on it. He's seven. So yes, um, happy, 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 happy with that. Just need to tidy up so into this cupboard if you are wondering where's the normal tea bags at they are here so these are the ones that we reach for just daily just a quick grab and go uh the drinks bottles are here which is amazing because you always used to struggle with finding the lids and everything so that's all in there these ones so what i was talking to you about is in here these jars which we don't use i think we've had like some sort of tea bags in them but we don't use them so we could do with sorting those out. So for example, the spaghetti, I've got some nice bamboo lid ones. So that will be in part two, if you want to see that. Um, cereals are all there. It's just amazing to have this big space because before they were on top of the fridge and they looked so bad and they just didn't really, there was never any space for them. So that's that. And then in here, I'm just gonna give this a quick sort out because there's stuff in here that, this will be in date, but some stuff like the box for this, that's empty. <laughs> we, we don't need the box for stuff. Um, these are open, so probably could get rid of those. So yeah, let's give this one a little sort out. out actually and just put them on here just because it makes it a bit easier if you want to get to the back of the cupboard done as well all organized just i don't know it just feels like i had the tray and it just makes it sometimes easier to get all that out and keep the shelves clean not gonna do anything with those because they are all in boxes i could be really fancy and put them in containers but i won't um and yeah and then this little thing which is mainly george's because he usually has something like this for, with his toast i'm so happy with how this has turned out i feel that halfway point is always the worst. So if you're there, if this is being declutter motivation or cleaning motivation for you, keep going because 
it's got to get worse before it gets better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget the link to the Ecovax is in the description bar for you. Let me know if you have a robot vacuum. I just love them. They just make, like, it was all done by the time I'd done all this. And, well, before. And it just makes one less job for me. So definitely a great investment if you are in the market for a robot vacuum. And thank you to them for sponsoring that section. Thank you to you for watching. And I'll see you really, really soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.